Hey guys, it's Mui, and I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play of Desktop Dungeons. So, we're going to be doing the next three dungeons, so here we go. Thousand Cuts will be the first one. Okay, so, glyphs you'll find all over the game, so, two far, uh, far sight things, I'm going to convert one of them because there's no point in having two. And that should probably give me a base um, attack damage thing. However you say that, fireball I guess, um, is a good one I guess, but I think I'm going to convert it anyway because I'm a fighter and I may as well just use melee attacks. Um, I'm going to attempt to try and kill this level 3 zombie, even though I am level 2. Okay, I did manage to kill it. So, signs are in just the first three levels after the tutorial. So yeah. Okay, so warriors or fighters, sorry, um, have a thing where they can see locations of lower or um, lower or same level monsters so there's one here which means there's extra treasure around here so we're going to go and get it <laughs> And then those two glyphs I don't think I'm going to use anymore. Maybe I'll, I'll keep them just in case though. Just convert one of them. So whatever then class uh, race you are, it will convert into something. So because this character is a human, it'll convert into um, attack power or something like that. Um. Also, it says I've got forty-two base damage or. Actually, I don't know. I've got 70% bonus and I'll um, base damage of 25, so that means I'm going to do 42 damage. Now, I probably won't need the fast side to swap places, so. 
I'm just going to use it a bit to see where if anything's in these action only squares. <laughs> is not so I can just convert both of them. So now it's going I'm going to be doing more damage with of a total of fifty seven. Okay, so I've meet, reached the max gold, so I can buy stuff. I'm going to buy the dwarves and thieves. So... The next dungeon is the Bad Lands. And the Dwarven Thief, I think. So instead of every time I convert something, it going into attack damage or something like that, instead it'll, it will go into. Um, Health. Also, as a thief, as you've noticed, it takes a lot longer to get to level two. Also, let's change from the fighter. Instead of when I convert something, it just going instantly to a hundred. I have to convert at least four glyphs for it to go to eighty. The, it's either the class or um a dwarf which does that. I think. Okay, then when it converted, it I don't know how much health it gave me, it's probably 3 health or around 3 health or 1 health, I don't know. So the only place I can go now is that over here, but there's a level 4 block in the way and I'm only level 3, so I can use the fireball to get through. I don't think I'm high enough level really to take on the goat boss yet, so I'm going to do that to get through to kill the lower level guys.
this part to this um the second part done now of the dungeons on to the last one Vince's Vault A Dwarf and Thief I think again Okay, this is a lot of glyphs at the beginning. So, because there were so many, I can instantly go and get the extra health thing. Okay, so, um, I died in Desktop Dungeon, so I'm going to have to start the dungeon again. I should probably sell, um, sell, um, buy some things. There, I've got all the classes now. I think I'm going to try a different one, so a human priest. I think I'm just going to not go with... Um... Um... Casting a casting priest, I think I'm going to go with a melee priest. Hundred percent extra damage on undead, so this is really good if there's um, a lot of undead in an instant or in um, a thing. They also get a 100% extra better potion thing, so yeah. Okay, so that was part two of my desktop dungeons let's play. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.